morning guys and welcome back to another vlog nothing particularly special going on today but i thought i would take you through a productive day in my life prepping myself for a new week ahead i really didn't have the best day yesterday i was feeling super unmotivated and couldn't get myself to do anything really so we're trying to shake that bad energy off and have a really great day today it's currently 8 24 and it's a little bit of a later start than i planned on but we still have plenty of time to get things done today and i already kind of did my morning meditation journaling and reading i told myself kind of at the beginning of february i wasn't going to make myself do it on the weekends but i didn't do this stuff yesterday and i think that's part of the reason i felt so off so we're really just gonna try and do every day it doesn't take long now it is time to work out and get my body moving that also always makes me feel so much better so we're gonna throw on a mad fit workout my favorite and get it done also i wanted to show you what i got at target yesterday i got two new sets of weights i got 10 pounds a few weeks ago at the beginning sometime at the beginning of the year and they are great but a little bit too heavy for me on arms day they work for some things and they work for legs but they're just slightly too heavy my arms are so weak now after not going to the gym for almost a year so we had to get some other weights too some lower ones so i got eight pounds and five pounds so now we kind of have a whole little set and if Brian ever works out with me too, like we have multiple options. So that was worth it. That was fun. And I'm glad I got them just because who knows how long I'll keep working out from home. And I'd like to have some weight options here. I'm going to grab the eight pound weight for this workout. We'll see how well that goes and get into it. Oh, that cut me off. Get into it. Okay, it's been a little bit. I did a shower and get ready, and then I ate pizza for a late breakfast, early lunch. Yes, I did follow my workout up with pizza, but you know, balance. The last little bit, I've been reorganizing the cabinets in our hallway a little bit. I had to fold the towels, so I just kind of rearranged them to make sure they all fit and looked nice. And then I reorganized my small business cabinet as well, because it was getting a little bit of a disaster. So we reorganized it, and it's a lot cleaner, which just feels really nice sorry I didn't really show any of that I feel like it's not very exciting to watch me reorganize cabinets I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do right now I do want to edit a video today so I could either start working on that now or start that later and then I also want to do some things for my small business I need to take some photos of new stickers that I made this week and put those up on Etsy and then I want to package my orders that I got from yesterday I got three orders in one day which is the most I've gotten in one day in a while so feeling really good about that so I need to package those orders and film those TikToks so that we can have TikTok content for the week. Those are the two main things I want to do, edit a video and work on my small business. I think I'm going to edit for at least a little bit first and see how I feel and then we'll work on my small business before it gets dark because I want to take pictures before it gets dark. That sounds like a plan. Let's do this. Okay, I still haven't edited my video, but I did get a few things done that I wanted to do today also, so it's okay. First thing I did was make an Instagram story promotion for my new video that I just uploaded. I need to be better about actually promoting my videos when they go up. I do it like sporadically and not every single video, so I need to be better about doing all of them. So let me show you what I made here. We have the thumbnail kind of in a Polaroid type kind of thing like all laid out and then this like fake notification box says new video and then the title and then it says link in bio. I try and make Instagram stories all the time. Um, I don't want to do this right now um, but I'm not always good about doing them. So I have a bunch of different things in here on Canva. I love Canva. I use it for a bunch of different things and I use it at work all the time too. And then the other thing I made was my own link in bio. I know a lot of people use like Linktree or I don't know there's like a million different websites that do it but you can also make one on your own website and that way you are directing people to your own website and getting web traffic that way for your own page if that makes sense. I set up a page and this will go into my Instagram link in bio and then that way I'm directing people to my actual website and if they click any of these it's all my traffic that I am earning instead of giving that to someone else's page. This is what it looks like on the web version and then I can try and show you the mobile version too. So this is the mobile preview, so if you were to open it up from Instagram, it would show you all these little buttons, and they're all linked to the different things there. If you're using Squarespace, it's super easy to set up. All you have to do is set it up as a non-linked page. These are like the main pages on my website, and the things that are linked at the top, if it's the normal website, they're all linked up here, 
and those are the main navigation pages, but these non-linked pages or other pages that are on my site but aren't published or you just can't get to them from the main navigation you have to go from the link i'm gonna throw it into my instagram bio real quick and finally have this set up i've been meaning to do it for a while so i'm glad i finally did it and i also want to make one for my small business even though i don't have a small business website at least i can direct people to my own website instead of just directing them to a link tree does that make sense i don't know i really like this and it's super simple and clean and yeah just a little fun thing to set up on my page i really need to be better about regularly updating my website because these recent blog posts are not all that recent and none of these are recent videos so i really need to update all of this and work on that but that probably will not be a today project okay i was working on editing my video for the last little bit i did get it completely rough cut i still need to add in graphics and music and such but i got the clips all cut and put together so it shouldn't take me too long to finish that up later but now i want to work on my small business stuff while the lighting is still good first i wanted to show you what i got from american eagle recently including the outfit that i'm wearing right now let me just tell you i am obsessed with this set it is so so cute i got this ribbed sports bra tank top it's like a lot longer than a normal sports bra it is so cute all of the material is ribbed and it's this really pretty blue gray color i don't know exactly what it is but i'm obsessed and then these leggings too are ribbed and they're just so comfortable i really really love this set and i want to get it in more colors now I've really only gotten into american eagle in the last year or two and it's definitely a little bit pricier than maybe target or forever 21 but the quality is so much better and everything is so cute and comfortable so highly recommend this set i will try and leave it linked down below and then the two other things i got from american eagle were this sports bra bralette a type thing i already have this in a different color and i really love it so i just wanted to get it in another color so i got it in black and then i also got the align dupe leggings from american eagle and let me tell you they are definitely align dupes the material is the exact same and they fit exactly the same way so i'm really excited about these let me try and find the tag it's the offline leggings i will try and leave these all linked down below so you can see what i got i definitely want to get this in more colors because it is the exact same material style everything as the aligns and a lot cheaper so we love that for us so that is everything i got from american eagle i also got a pair of jeans but they're too big on me so i'm gonna return those like i said i want to work on my small business stuff now so i'm gonna go take pictures of my new stickers and try and get those listed on etsy and then also i want to package my orders and film tiktoks of all of those so we're gonna try and get that done rosie has a grooming appointment at petco at 3:45, so i'm gonna try and finish it all before then it's like 2 40 ish so we have about an hour Let's get it done. Okay, I got my stickers listed on Etsy. I didn't have time to package my orders, but at least I got the pictures taken and the Etsy listings done, and then I just posted them on Instagram to promote them. Now it's time to bring Rosie to the groomers, and then we're gonna go to the store while she's there, kill two birds with one stone, and then we'll come back and try and be more productive and finish that video and get some other things done as well. Okay, update time. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I have had the worst headache today. I'm pretty sure it's because I didn't drink coffee today. So clearly I have a caffeine addiction, but yeah, it really, really hurts. So it's been hard to really focus or do a lot that I wanted to do today. Then when we were leaving to take Rosie to the groomers, I fell on the stairs. At least it was only like a few steps, but I totally ate it and I had like a bowl of empty cereal in my hands and that flu and milk and cereal got everywhere and yeah my whole butt and leg really hurt now so clearly we are just doing great right now but we took rosie to the groomers we went to the grocery store and got food ate dinner and then went and picked up rosie from petco and they said she did good she's always a little bit scared but she did good and was mostly dry when she came home so that was good as well now i want to pack up those orders that i talked about so i can have that done and i just have to drop them in the mailbox in the morning and i don't think i'm gonna 
be able to finish editing that video that I wanted to get done. I really should because it'll make my life so much easier during the work week, but my head just hurts so bad and I really don't want to keep staring at a computer screen. So I think after I pack these orders, I'm honestly going to brush my teeth, wash my face, and then get into bed and maybe read a book or something because this headache ain't it. Okay, I think that's it for this update. Let's go pack up these stickers. Okay, I did end up working on my video for a little bit longer. It is not quite done, but almost there. I only have a few more things to add and watch it through one more time. So I'm gonna finish that up tomorrow. And then I also updated my Notion for the week. So I filled out my to-do list, filled out this weekly portion and such. So this is all ready to go for my work week. And then I have my work to-do list for the week all written out. I wrote this on Friday afternoon and then I filled out my planner with my schedule for tomorrow. I don't have that many meetings, but I do have a lot to get done. So listed everything in my planner. My planner saves my life on the daily. So we have both of that. Now it is time to brush my teeth, wash my face, get ready for bed. It is just about bedtime over here. I'm going to read for a few minutes and then go to sleep very early. I'm planning to close my iPad and everything at 9.30. Definitely a little bit early, but my head still hurts really bad and my brain is just mush. So I'm just gonna go to bed early and I'm planning on waking up at 5 a.m. every day this week for a video. So gotta get a good night's sleep because my alarm is set for 5 a.m. and I will not be happy if I don't sleep well. If you're curious, the book I'm currently reading is Dark Captor by Faye Summers and Cardine Gray. I think that's how you say her name. It is a mafia romance series. I read the first book a month or two ago, I think. So now I'm gonna read more of the books in this series. That's going to be it for today for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, seeing a little bit of a behind the scenes of working on my small business. I showed you a little American Eagle haul. So thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for work vlogs, post-grad life, and more.